Merry Meet YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Magical Merlin, and we have our first unboxing of 2019. And this time, we are unboxing a new box. This is the Sugar Muse box. Um, this is the Sugar Muse Deluxe box, actually. Well, this is my first time with this box. So I'm really excited to see what. Uh, goodies they have in store. This is one of the boxes that was recommended to me, so I thought I'd give it a try. So let's just dig right in. Oh, and by the way, this box smells absolutely amazing. Um, it does ship discreetly, as you can see, it's just a shipping label, and they have simply a little stamp that says Sugar Muses. doesn't identify it as a witchy box or anything like that. So that's kind of cool, I like that. All right, so the first thing that we have is this little art piece, and it's for in bulk. So this is uh, this is a smaller Book of Shadows page, similar to what I used to get in the uh, Witch's Moon box, but a little bit smaller. Then. You get the list of everything that's in the box and descriptions, and there's a lot there, apparently. So I'll set that to the side here. Uh, bubble wrap, that'll keep Hermione happy. And oh, this is lovely. This is another little art piece. So, let me just see, what it's, see if it says anything about those art pieces. Uh, that's a Bridget's Cross at Imbolc, the maiden aspect of the goddess might be represented in a great variety of ways by this uh, by a simple ear of dried corn, a figure made of grain at uh, oh, I cannot even pronounce that one uh, Luxfagna or straws of wheat braided into an intricate design. One representation of the goddess is uh, Brigid's cross. This is a traditionally, traditional fire wheel symbol found at the hearths of homes throughout Ireland and beyond as a symbol of protection. Uh, so that, that can go on my altar for in bulk. That's a very nice symbol there. I, love, I really do like that one. And the other art piece is a print of a painting that was created just for this month's box. It depicts the goddess Bridget. She is the goddess of fire, inspiration, protection, healing, and craftsmanship. This exclusive hand-painted original was created with watercolor, pen, and ink. So that's really, really cool. And, of course, every month you get their business card. Uh, and what I love is that uh, it's handcrafted magical offerings. It's what they say they do, which is really neat. And, of course, we have all of these, which are obviously biodegradable. Just paper. So that's awesome. The first two things that I see here... Rosemary, which is a wonderful herb to have. Uh, it's one of the herbs I believe that anyone who practices cannot have too much of. Uh, this herb can be burned, sprinkled on a lit candle to create an instant smudge, placed in charm and spell bags, placed on your altar as an offering, or used in a bath to promote its magical attributes, which include improved memory, sleep, purification, youth, love, power, healing, and protection. And the other thing is rosemary. The reason I say that uh, I believe you can never have too much is if you need an herb and you don't have it, you can substitute rosemary for any herb in your, in your working. So that's a, that's a uh, general purpose herb. Uh, let me see here. The next thing we have 
is a flower blend. So it's dried flowers, which is lovely. And those, let me see here, uh, created to use during your in bulk ritual. This blend of flowers contains delphinium, pine cones, jasmine, star flowers, and chrysanthemums. Sprinkle around your Bridget's cross print. So, uh, they think, I mean, so obviously, this uh, box is. Uh, designed specifically for the items to be used together which is great so it looks like you're getting everything you're going to need for in bulk and then we have incense and this time we get eight absolutely amazingly smelling incense sticks uh, let's see here which is the ah, it's the winter goddess incense sticks Burn it at the beginning of your rituals to cleanse your space and altar and to set the intentions of your ritual. Incense is beneficial in ritual work because it contains, it conditions the mind by stimulating one's sense of smell. It can draw down spirits through its association with the element of air. And according to ancient beliefs, when a spell is done, it raises the spell up into the air and sends it on its way. So that is really cool. Next, you know one of my addictions, mesh bags. So this one contains tea light candles as well as a scroll. So let's so you get four tea light candles and you get this scroll. It says in bulk ritual. So let's take a quick look here. Oh, so it, it describes how to use the candles with the uh, Bridget's Cross print as well as the flower blend and all of that. So that is really nice. Uh, for a beginner, that would be absolutely perfect kind of thing to get, so I'm thrilled to have it. I'm, uh, I'll keep that information. I'll probably keep that scroll and add it to my Book of Shadows. Yeah, after you set up your tea lights, after you set up your print and flowers, place the tea lights at the four corners. In bulk is a feast day, devoted in part to fire and its life-giving properties. So, that's really, really nice. And let's see what else we have in here. Ah, we have... Oh, wow. This is an amazing smelling salt. So this is the uh, in bulk salts. So those you can use prior to doing your ritual. Uh, let's see here what it actually says about them. Uh, these sacred salts were hand blended with Dead Sea salts. Epsom salts infused with dried lavender, rosemary, peppermint, very strong smell of peppermint, and rosemary essential oil. Salt can be used in purification spells, placed in a bowl in your altar to represent earth, used to cast circles in ritual baths, or used to clean your gemstones and crystals. Just place gemstones on a bed of salt overnight. So that's always a good thing to know is, is different ways to cleanse and clean your crystals. And winter magic candle. So they said to, I believe this is a soy candle. Yeah, organic soy wax. Oh, it smells lovely. It's got all these beautiful herbs on top. So that will definitely be lovely to burn that. Hand poured winter magic candle. This organic, vegan friendly soy candle is infused with dried flowers, lavender, and rosemary essential oils. Placed on your altar, it can be used to invoke the element of fire as part of your celebrations, like candles, the flame of Bridget, and make wishes for your family and friends. A simple form of candle magic. Never leave burning candles unattended around children and pets. 
or allow them to burn down completely. Then next we have, oh wow, another small mesh bag and this one contains what looks, I want to say a smoky quartz, but considering the bag is uh, gray, I'm going to take it out before I make any determination on what it is. Uh, I think I might be right on the smoky quartz. At least that's what it partially looks like. Ah, it's raw quartz crystal. Quartz is an power stone it has been called the universal stone because of its many uses it enhances energy by absorbing storing amplifying balancing focusing and transmitting and uh, when they say it's many uses that is so true because once again in magic if you don't have the crystal you need for a certain spell you can actually use a quartz crystal uh, in substitution um, so it is a definitely a universal uh, crystal and so it's really good to have one next we have what looks like an oil here once again very well packaged and so this one is an in bulk ritual oil and you can just see there that it is jam-packed full of all kinds of herbs mostly rosemary though from the looks of it oh it smells like it's got some peppermint in there as well um, let's see here yes, this oil was created with organic essential oils of mint so I was right there was some kind of mint in there and rosemary sweet almond oil infused with rosemary lavender and vitamin E oil Use this oil to anoint yourself or use a small amount to dress candles, gemstones, and tools. I always suggest doing a test patch before using on your skin. Which is actually a really good idea and good advice because you never know what an individual reaction to an oil is going to be. And our last, the second to last item I think from the looks of it, I'm saving the big one for the end. Uh, comes in this little box. Oh, look at that. That is a lovely little pendant. Looks like there's a crescent moon in there. Uh, pendant. I'm excited to announce we'll be working with a local jewelry designer so that we can now feature a line of fine sterling silver pendants and jewelry items as well as beautiful gemstones similar to the ones seen in past boxes. So this is absolutely lovely. It looks like it is a crescent moon and I can't quite tell what the top piece is. Oh, it is a crescent moon. I had it faced the wrong way. So it's a crescent moon, and the top is a triquetra symbol. That is really cool. And the last item. I have a couple of these that were either gifted to me or I purchased myself. But uh, this one is really nice. It's really, really small. So, <laughs> it's a besom. And as you can see there, it's got the... Uh, pentacle there is decorated with the flowers this one is looks like it would be specific to in bulk and so let's see what it says about the besom handmade broom also known as a besom it is used in the craft to cleanse sacred spaces dried flowers as well as a charm have been added to enhance the magical properties it is ready for its dedication in which you can bless it and then set it outside under a full moon to be blessed by the goddess. Your broom can be used to cleanse away negative energies or if you wish, use this decor. Handle your broom gently as the flowers are delicate. So that is lovely. This box is 
more than I expected, to be completely honest with you. Um, I've seen some unboxings of the regular Sugar Muses box, but I had not seen any of the Deluxe box. Uh, so I'm really thrilled that uh, I was able to get this and uh, the value of it. I'm just looking at this. The value of it is amazing. This box cost me, uh, I believe it was $44, $45 US, uh, which is not bad at all in my opinion uh, for a subscription box like this. And the items you get in it are definitely well worth it. I mean, the sterling silver jewelry, uh, the art prints, uh, the candles, salts, oils, and the besom definitely make it worthwhile. Um, what also surprised me about this box is in comparison to some of the other boxes I've received from the United States because this does come out of I think it's Pennsylvania don't quote me on that I'll have their website information down below but they sent me notification that the box was on its way about a week and a half ago and it's already here uh, well, well before the end of the month. I'm so used to getting my boxes very close to the end of the month, uh, as you can usually tell by my uploading schedule. So this box came very, very quickly at Clear Customs in no time at all. And so I'm really thrilled with that. I'm really thrilled with the contents. This is definitely a box that I'm going to be keeping for the foreseeable future. Um, and... I would advise checking them out. They do have the two tiers. They have the Sugar Muses box. They have the Sugar Muse Deluxe box. Uh, I get the Deluxe box. And you, as you see with everything that's in it, it is definitely worth the money. Um, so I'm really, really happy with what, uh, what I paid and what I got for that money. So I'll leave a link in the description box below and you can check them out. Um, and yeah so uh, I will be keeping this box like I said for the foreseeable future so you will definitely be seeing more of the Sugar Muses unboxings but until next time YouTube blessed be